Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a collective haul and review of the new Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Now, I have been waiting for this collection since it was announced, I think, last year. I love Rihanna, but I was also very, very skeptical and like kind of nervous because she is a celebrity and a lot of celebrity collaborations or makeup lines or perfumes, what have you, they tend to be kind of lackluster. So... Uh, I was nervous, but it is backed by Kendo, that is the brand um, or the company behind the brand. So they are responsible for Kat Von D, Marc Jacobs. So I'm, I was kind of, you know, a little on the fence, but also very hopeful because um, such a big corporation wouldn't allow, uh, allow um, a line to be kind of a failure <laughs> type of thing. So yeah, the collection came out. I was actually very, very lucky enough to have been one of the first people to shop it at Sephora Times Square and I had the chance to meet Rihanna. She rang my purchase up, which was like, ah! I was low-key dying inside. I tried to play it cool, but I love her so much and the fact that she was ringing me up, like, I died. So that was an unforgettable experience. I have not stopped talking about it and I won't stop talking about it at least till 2018, maybe 2019. <laughs> um, I did pick up a lot of products so I just want to jump right into the review and the haul. So let's just jump right into it. The first product that I want to talk about is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Now, I purchased this because I have oily skin, and if you tell me something will mattify my skin, I will get it in a heartbeat. This promises to mattify your skin, blur out the pores, and lay the perfect canvas for your foundation. And I found that it did just that. It doesn't feel like the typical primers that are out there. Um, some of them are very, very silicone-y or like silicone-based, so they feel very slippery on the skin. Um, sometimes it just feels like it's sitting on top of your skin, whereas this one feels sort of like a mattifying lotion on top, so it's easy to rub in, blends right into the skin, kind of lays that perfect canvas like I mentioned before, um, and it doesn't feel like it's just sitting on top. The next product, which is the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. I am in the shade 440. I was kind of surprised and taken aback by the fact that Rihanna was launching with foundation because foundation is notoriously tricky in the beauty industry to um, do correctly because there are so many undertones, there are so many varying skin tones that to launch with foundation I felt was a risky move. But they did launch with 40 shades and there are about, I want to say, 10 shades per tone. Um, it is a soft matte formula. So what that means is it's not going to feel heavy on the skin and I would say it's more of a medium to full coverage. So I just did one layer today because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I just wanted to even out my skin tone uh, and I think it did just that. When I was going out last night, I did apply two layers and you sort of felt it go on your skin but it's not. it's still not as thick and heavy as say um, an Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is my favorite foundation, and I'm not just saying that because I work for Estee Lauder. Um, I have been wearing Double Wear for years because it is a full coverage matte foundation that it works for my oily skin. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation I really like because uh, it is matte, but it doesn't feel thick or cakey on my skin, and it lasted, um, I want to say, all day because I went out, as I mentioned last night, and when I came back home at around midnight, my skin still looked flawless. I did accidentally fall asleep with my makeup on and I woke up this morning and I still had my base on. So say what you will, I do not recommend falling asleep with your makeup on. Do not wear your makeup on for 24 hours. I was just exhausted, um, but it still looked good. So kudos to Rihanna. The next few products are the matchsticks and there are two, I wanna say formulas, and the great thing about the packaging, which I'm sure you guys have all seen, is that they're magnetic. So it's super easy to travel with. Um, they just kind of stick together, easy to store. Um, I just think it's a very novel concept. It's really cute. I like that. Um, but there are two different 
I want to say formulas for the matchsticks. There's the shimmer sticks, which I consider more of the blushes and highlighters. Um, and of those, I purchased uh, three. So I picked up Radic, which is this gorgeous, bright, corally orange shade. This is more of a blush, um, or you can use them on your eyes. It is really pigmented, but it is easy to build. So I just say dab it on and then blend out, dab and blend. The formula for these, I want to say, are cream to powder is the best way to describe it. So it's not going to... Um, move your makeup around like a lot of creamy um, based products. They're super easy to blend out. I don't have an issue with them. I really like Redic. Um, I wish this came out earlier in the summer because this is the most gorgeous uh, summery shade. Um, and the great thing about the versatility of these products is that you can use them on your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. So this would be a gorgeous, gorgeous lip color. The next one that I picked up is the shade Rum, and I picked this one up because it is just a stunning highlighter shade for deep skin. It is really gorgeous. Um, next up, I also got Cinnamon, and this one has, I want to say, more of a pinky or rosy undertone to it, so it's somewhat different than Rum. It's right here. So these are the three shimmer sticks that I picked up. I also picked up the matte match sticks. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Um, and these are more of your concealing and contouring products. So that's these guys, they're matte, they don't have any shimmer. This is the shade Truffle. Um, and I picked this one up because I don't like the super bright under eye area. Um, I really just want to cover the dark circles, not necessarily draw more attention. Um, and I tried swatching it here, but it blends so perfectly into my skin that you can't really see it. Um, but this would, would be my um, concealer if I just want, I don't want to highlight anything. I just literally want to cover it up. Or if I wanted a stick foundation, because these blend out so nicely, um, you can use them as a stick foundation. They are $25, which is the same price as the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation that everyone loves. So that's just one call out. I also have the shade Suede, and this is the um, under eye concealer that I'm actually wearing today. And it is a lot lighter than I anticipated, which is why I ended up purchasing Truffle. So you can see that right here. And then there's ex Espresso, let's say Espresso. There's Espresso, which is this dark, cool tone. This is what I've been using to contour. Um, and the fact that I have a contour shade is perfect. So it's just right here. So as I previously mentioned, the shimmer, or what? The matchsticks retail for 25, or you can get a set of three, and they're still full size. And this retails for $54, which is roughly getting the price of like two for buy two, get one free, roughly. Um, and you're still getting full-size products. I went a little crazy with the highlighters. I had to pick up the Kilowatt highlighters because they just look too gorgeous to pass up. So there are four of these duos. So this is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule, which is so pretty. It has a um, soft copper sheen to it and then a copper shimmer. So on me, these are perfect blushes and blush toppers. And then I picked up Mean Money and Hustla Baby. So these are more of a champagne-y sheen and then a peachy champagne shimmer. And then I picked up Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. So Girl Next Door is, has a nice pink sheen to it. And then the Chic Freak is a peachy pink shimmery shade. So this is another beautiful blush topper. Or if you just want a nice peachy highlight, this is really good for that. And then I picked up I had to pick up Trophy Wife because it has been so highly promoted when um, Rihanna was coming out with the line. It's the one that she's been wearing nonstop. And in, this is a what they're calling a metallic gold, but it definitely has a yellow base to it because it's super yellow on the skin. And I think that would be one of my biggest critiques of Trophy Wife, that it might be a little too yellow for some people. Um, it is what they're calling a 3D highlighter, so in my mind that instantly says um, like a glitter, 
It's, it doesn't have large glitter particles like some highlighters may, but it is, I want to say, um, chunky is the wrong word for it, but that's the first word that's coming to mind because it's not difficult to blend. There's just a lot of shimmer particles and it does, like, you have fallout. I love using this on the eyes because it is such a golden, it's such a, like, beautiful yellow gold and on my eyes it just pops. Um, I am wearing it today. Start small and then build. I think one thing that I've been seeing from some of the reviews is that people are going in with a heavy hand, similar to how they might use um, some of the Anastasia highlighters, and that's just too intense. It's going to, one thing that I notice is where you put your brush down is where the most pigment is deposited. Um, so you're going to get like a streak of yellow on your cheek if you are not careful. There's another one that is solid similar to this and it's an iridescent white shade. Um, I did not pick up that one. I believe it's called Metal Moon. I did not pick that one up because on my skin it would look ashy, I feel. Um, but I have a love-hate relationship with Trophy Wife. I think it's beautiful in the pan. I think it's so stunning. Um, I love it on my eyes but it can be a little too intense. I think it looks good now um, on the camera. I'm not sure if you can see what it looks like, but I think it looks good right now, but that's because I went in with my Anastasia A23 brush and I lightly started to build. I did not just like boom, 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 and then like go crazy. These are super sheen and soft, so I would definitely recommend one of these duos because one side is a very soft sheen to it. Um, it's not like a super intense highlight. I like them as blushes, to be quite honest. And then the other one is a little bit more intense, your traditional highlighter, but it doesn't have fallout. It doesn't like um, look chunky. I think these are like absolutely beautiful. My favorite being Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Next up, I purchased the Universal Powder, Blotting Powder. <laughs> I don't know why that one was so hard. Um, again, I'm oily skin, so the minute you tell me that something is going to mattify my face, I picked it up, like I will buy, and this is just a white powder. Um, it is to blot with, so you carry it around with you um, to just kind of wick away shine. It does mattify. I just used it like right here because this is like where my nose is, is where, where my nose is. <laughs> I typically get very oily right here and then on my forehead. Um, so I picked this up just to see if that will help with it. There are three tools from this collection and I purchased all of them. Again, I'm a fangirl. <laughs> so there's the um, Beauty Blender dupe. <laughs> this is the um, Rihanna Blender or the Fenty Blender. This reminds me of the Beauty Blender in terms of how soft it is, but it also has this flat edge similar to the Real Techniques one. There is this cheek hugging highlighting brush. Um, I did not intend on picking this up because I saw it and I was like, ugh, whatever. Like, why do we need a shark tooth uh, kind of shape? highlighting brush, whatever, it's gimmicky. I love you, Riri, but I'm passing. And then someone used it on me <laughs> in Sephora. It was just so soft and it blended the highlighter so beautifully because it was made to hug your cheeks. Um, and so it just deposits the most perfect, like smooth um, highlight that I ended up going back to Sephora just to purchase this one. And then there is the full bodied foundation brush. Um, again, I wasn't, I was kind of intrigued by this simply because of the shape. It reminds me of the Real Techniques uh, metal collection that they had. That foundation brush is somewhat similar where they're both kind of tapered. Um, I did apply my foundation today using it and um, I like it. I don't think it's necessary to be completely honest. I actually find that I like this to blend out the contour color a little bit because of the tapered um, brush. It really just is easy to glide back and forth. It reminds me of the new Kat Von D contour brush that just came out where you're able to um, move the brush easily into the hollows of your cheek to really blend out the contour color. And last but certainly not least, I picked up the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. I was so shocked that Rihanna did not launch with lipstick simply because she knows how to wear a bold lip color. 
Um, I think it could have been because she had launched the MAC collection and there were so many lipsticks in that one. Maybe she wanted to give us something new, um, but I think it's a huge miss that she didn't launch lipsticks because she wears the hell out of color. Um, but back to the gloss, I do know, I see that gloss is making a comeback. I am a matte lip kind of girl. <laughs> I love my liquid lipsticks, but I think this is a good everyday gloss. It does have a hint of color and a sheen to it. Um, people are saying it's nude, but it does have a little bit of color, but not so much to the point where it's going to be the most like pigmented gloss. I think it's an everyday gloss. I am wearing it now and I've layered um, Max Chestnut Lip Liner underneath. I don't need a lip liner to wear it. It's not one of those that come, goes on your lips and is um, like pinky and gross looking, to be honest. It deposits color at first, and then when you apply it around, it just um, like melts into your lips. I think this is such a good everyday gloss. Overall, I'm satisfied with the collection. I do think that there are some things that you don't necessarily need, like the um, brushes, for example. You don't need them to get a great application. I think the Kilowatt Highlighter and Trophy Wife is not a necessity. Um, I quite like it because it looks gorgeous on my skin, but again, it's one of those that I need to have time <laughs> to blend out my highlighter. Um, that's just my honest opinion. I love the foundation. I think everyone should go in store and swatch and try to find your perfect shade. Um, and I remember seeing on some interviews that she is planning on expanding to even more foundation shades, which is dope. Let me know what you guys purchased. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.